Minister Fletcher, why have the people that work for ABC Me in Melbourne lost their jobs? My fellow presenter is Pip and she has lost her job. Minister Fletcher, have you actually watched ABC Me? It is really good and they should get the money they need. Thank you. Well, you're in such a generous mood tonight, um, Minister. Maybe you want to reinstate some ABC funding if you're well, announcing uh, channels can continue. Go on. Matilda, there's a thing called operational uh, editorial and financial independence of ABC board and management. Oh. And so, look, the facts are um, the ABC has secure funding. We're in the first year of a three-year period, ABC funding increasing every year over that period. Uh, the ABC's been aware of its funding uh, since the current Trinium funding arrangements were announced in 2018. Board and management uh, then are charged with making decisions in relation to how they uh, allocate that funding. Uh, some announcements were made last week in the context of the ABC releasing its five-year strategic plan. Um, so that's the basis of the decision. They're not decisions made by a minister. No, but the decision's made because of a cut. And, well, um, it's not it, a cut. Well... Oh. It's not a cut. I, I, don't, I, don't know how much, I don't know how much more time it's not a cut. I, I want to ABC give on the ABC to this backwards going and forwards up. about it. Well, well you know, Minister, I've had this discussion Minister, with Minister, several ABC journalists. The funding journalists simply have... has not gone up over the period. In fact, it's going down. That's not true. Virginia, Virginia I brought the budget paper true. because I've seen Paul give other mm. interviews on this. It's simply not true. A little bit of homework never mm. heard. This is the budget paper, page 72 from the 2018 budget. The highlighted bit, I don't know if the camera can make it, but it says it's cuts... A reduction, it says, this is a reduction in spending on the ABC by $83.7 million over the next three years. Like, and if you don't believe Ida Buttrose and you don't believe the National Party leader in New South Wales, this is in the budget paper. It's you a know, cut. You know, Bill, it's, 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 cut. it's quite interesting because... Um, uh, yes, but I do, I do in, want to hear from Yasmin here rather than... In, in 2018, you were, arguing, you were arguing that the government had cut $1.8 billion from aged care funding. ABC, we, uh, ABC Minister, let's, fact Minister, check. Let's, wow. let's this is highly relevant because ABC... Minister, Minister, let's stay on that subject or we're, we're not hearing from that at all. Th this yeah. is the subject of ABC funding because ABC fact check deems that an adjustment to future spending does not represent a cut when the overall level of spending continues yeah, to rise. That's ABC fact check in uh, October 2018. That's exactly the situation that oh. we're in. So in 2018, the government took a decision in relation to triennial funding for the ABC. Um, that did not include indexation, uh, ah. but it did mean an increase in ABC funding every year uh, this is the argument that the ABC... Oh, and, oh, I, I, uh, we've, we've been over this again. I have got the figures in front of me, which I'm happy to rehearse, but I want to hear from Yasmin first. Well, I was going to say, I mean, first, it's very questionable that you say that there's not cuts, but it's even more it's questionable true. that under your government you've commissioned a $200,000 report to look into the effects of public broadcasters versus, versus commercial rivals. And to be honest with that $200,000 report, mm. I'd like to question, is that the best use of taxpayer money? And secondly, I suspect that that report will just be used to justify further cuts to the ABC. Mm. And speaking of a young person, can I just emphasise, I mean, even in the ABC Charter, its focus is on reflecting the cultural diversity of Australia. And as a 21-year-old, it's incredibly rare and pretty unheard of that I'd be given a platform on any other media outlet. Yeah. And even if we look at things like the Black Lives Matter movement in Australia, I would switch on the TV and be so frustrated seeing a lack of Indigenous, Indigenous Australian representation on other platforms. So to cut the ABC, especially now, I mean, after the bushfires, after COVID-19 and its general importance in Australia, I think is, is truly a tragedy. Well, you could look at That's NITV right. on SBS, for example, the other national broadcaster. But why cut the ABC in the first place? Well, we're not cutting the ABC. ABC oh. funding is going up. In oh. Oh. These I'm are actually, the facts, actually, ladies and gentlemen. For the, for the record, the I'm, go, I'm going to read through these figures in a moment, but Sue Morfitt, it appears... Do you reckon you know what, what a cut looks like in a budget? I surely do. <laughs> I surely do, and I wish I didn't. Um, the reality, though, my understanding is that the promised amounts weren't delivered and the promised amounts were cut. Well, so that's so not therefore, true either, actually. So if wow. you're running... A, but if you're running a business, you have to plan in advance for the amount of money that's coming through. And if there's a discrepancy on that, it needs to be resolved so that you can run your business appropriately. It appears that the ABC is not able to do that. The whole problem with, the, with this is the ABC has got one source of revenue, the government. Many other businesses can go and find other sources mm. of revenue, plus the fact that ABC is going through structural change, so therefore it has to find funds for structural change as well as running. The point to make, though, I think, is that, back to what Jasmine says, is that this institution is so powerfully um, loved and trusted 
by the Australian community. It is needed by the Australian community in the country where media is falling yep. off and it is mm. vital that we get news where we need it, we get service where we need it and we get culture where we need it that will not come where commercial interests have to take heart. And so we yeah. strongly back the ABC. That's why it's mm. funded with over a billion dollars a year, going up every oh. year. Just last year, in the last budget, we committed an extra $43.7 million for additional regional and local news gathering for the ABC. So the ABC has secure and rising funding. No other media business has, uh, has the certainty of revenue that the ABC has. In fact, just about every other media business has seen a catastrophic drop in revenue this year due to a loss of that, But the rest right of the say... month, the ABC, like you were, but... you were saying that they're all equal, I beg your yeah. pardon, Sue. No, no, no. Um, the reality is that in England, they put $8.6 billion into the BBC. We put $1.1 billion. We're a third of their population, but we only fund our public broadcast to one-eighth. 18 other comparable countries fund public broadcasting more. And you keep comparing them to Fairfax 9 or News Limited, they're profit-making entities. They don't have the obligations the ABC has. I mean, this is one of the issues in that Eden Monero violation, but in the bushfires, no one else is rushing no. to do that job. In the Pacific, no one else is rushing to do that job. We're making a long term uh, mistake in our national interest, our national conversation. Media concentration is getting greater. The ABC is special. Of course, the ABC is special. That is why we provide uh, substantial and growing funding for the ABC. And of course, the ABC has done a good job in relation to the bushfires, as have commercial media. Uh, it's done a good job in relation to COVID-19, as has commercial media. That's why it's got secure and rising funding. But we also need to recognise Minister, that regional I... media is under pressure. That's why we've committed $50 million in our public interest news yes. gathering program for regional broadcasters and regional newspapers. And as a result of that, there will be newspapers reopening in country towns. Minister, I'm, 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 I'm going to move on. I've got the figures here, though. Um, you're ignoring the fact in what you're saying and talking about that 2019-2020 that, uh, uh, budget. In the first year of the three-year period, the funding fell from 1097 million to 1084 million for the total budget and from 916 million to 900 million for the general operational activities budget and even with the continued increase in transmission and distribution and i think that's where we get cute about the funding rising the total budget will still not recover to the 2018-19 level as far off as 22-23 the operational budget barely moves from 2920 and remains lower than 2018-19 for four well, years. Virginia, That's what that, I call that, a cut. That is, that is not true. The well, funding, the, figure, the, funding figures, the figures are taken from the budget. 20, we can't waste any more time on this. Higher, I'm going to go to our next question. And it's higher than You've when we came to government. You've made the point several times, Minister.